Hello best friend and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. This is the first time you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend you have found me, grab a snack and a drink. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would be so incredibly grateful. You guys, um, throughout all my videos today, I, I'm sh I have been sharing with you guys um, yesterday, my best friend took me to Disney to celebrate my birthday and I just had the most beautiful magical time. So I've been sharing with you guys, um, did I bite my lip? No, I've been sharing with you guys, um, parts of my, my trip. I showed you guys what I ate in one video. I showed you guys what I got in the other video. And in this video towards the end, after I spilled the tea on the Selena Gomez thing, which is insane, um, I will be sharing and um, rating each of the rides that I went on. So stay tuned for that. You do not want to miss that. And it's after this tea, okay, because we really have to talk. So there is a new HBO show called The Idol where there is, it's, it's, a, it's about a pop star, right? Um, first, it was kind of made believe that this was about Britney Spears. And Britney did meet with The Weeknd. She met also, I believe, with the director of this show. There is some songs, allegedly, of Britney Spears in the show. So people kind of thought it was based on Britney Spears' life. Well, not anymore. People are believing that the idol was actually inspired by Selena Gomez's 2016, 2017 um not so great time that she had with The Weeknd. And guess who is the creator of this show, The Weeknd? So listen, look at this, it says here. After a nervous breakdown derailed Jocelyn's last tour, she determined to claim her rightful status as the greatest, sexiest pop star in America. Her passions are reignited by The Weeknd's character, a nightclub, owner with a sordid past will her romantic awakening take her to glorious new heights or the deepest and darkest depths of her soul it begins with jocelyn's tour being disrupted by her inner monologue she fears her public image coming to an end which forces her to switch her appearance and music to a much sexier approach the weekend plays a huge role in making Jocelyn take her power back and become the biggest pop star of her timeline. Similarity, Selena Gomez released her documentary, My Mind and Me, in which she explained that her tour wasn't meeting her standards shortly after she had ended the tour and took a break, coming back with the weekend wrapped around her arms and a more sexier sound and image with Fetish being her 2017 single that is arguably her more sexier song. Her 2017 Vogue cover was Gomez's first time feeling sexy. At least, that's what she claimed. The Idol is basically a re reintroduction to the life of Selena Gomez in 2016-2017. Blackpink member Jeannie Kim will be playing as Jocelyn's assistant and friend, which is better known as Teresa Mignus to Selena Gomez. Um, so because, um, you know what? I have no idea. I, I think that obviously when you create something, you take from your life experiences, you take from moments that you've lived, you take, you know, from situations you've been in conversations you've had. That's how songwriters, you know, get, you know, uh, ideas for songs, you know? So would I be surprised that, you know, The weekend kind of took a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of this and a little bit of that? Probably. There's definitely a lot of similarities by just reading this, but I also think that, you know, it's sort of like, I just think it's another way to kind of hype the show because, and I don't want to sound like, I, you know, I don't want to be like, you know, that me, I, I don't want to be mean ever, right? You guys know me, but I feel like there's not that much buzz on the weekend. And because Selena Gomez is such a buzz name and she's everywhere, I think that maybe like these news articles that are coming out, could they be from the Idol show itself just to get viewers to watch? Because since Selena Gomez is literally the most followed person in the world, followed female in the world, 
you would think that, you know, obviously her name being associated to a project would obviously bring a lot more attention and a lot more viewers and ratings, right? So listen, Hollywood is dirty, girl. You know what I mean? And I, I think that this is definitely, in my opinion, a really good way to promote a show and bring publicity to it because if you have Selena Gomez's name tied to something, you know it's going to be a hit, right? So I don't know. We have to watch the show when it comes out. If you guys want, I'll definitely watch it. Um, and I will let you guys kind of know. There is definitely a lot of talk on different fan bases that it's based on that person. So maybe like they took this character, Jocelyn, the pop star, and got a little bit of Britney, a little bit of Selena, a little bit of Miley, a little bit of this, a little bit of Madonna, a little bit of, you know, and just grabbed a bunch and just made one, you know, and kind of maybe kind of meshed all of their stories into one person. That's what I think at least, but we'll never know until we watch. So if you guys want me to watch it, I'll definitely watch it. Um, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I do think it's some kind of publicity, to be very honest. It's just like a, some kind of thing to just get the name out there. Because if, if it's associated with Selena, it's going to be a hit. That's just how it is. Um, but anyways, if you've stuck around this long, I will be rating each Disneyland ride because it was so insane, you guys. One thing you should know about Disney... Disneyland Park Adventure, that's where I went, is that the rides are not what they seem. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys some of the rides. I'm gonna do a voiceover. You're gonna, you're, it's, it was, uh, it was a lot. We'll have, to, and I'll add some kind of uh, pictures and videos from my experience. So stay tuned for that. I love you all so much and I'm so grateful for you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your feedback. And just thank you for being so incredibly amazing. I don't take you guys for granted. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Mwah. Bye. Oh, we're starting off with my favorite ride, which was a Little Mermaid, bitch. Let me tell you, if you are a Little Mermaid stan, this ride is for you. The wait time was not long. It was like... I don't know, like 25 minutes. Um, check on the app I told you guys about in my other video, but the Disneyland app. But this is just an amazing ride. The music is amazing. It basically just tells the story of the Little Mermaid. Ooh, King Trident girl, he's looking sexy. I mean, it was this was this was an amazing ride. I mean, a hundred out of ten, a million out of ten. Look at me, I was crying like a little baby girl. This was amazing. So this ride is called Symphony, no, Silly Symphony Swings. And it's just basically like large, huge swings. It's so funny. It's in front of the Little Mermaid ride. Highly recommend. I would give this honestly an 8 out of 10. But girl, you will be dizzy. So this is the Monsters, Inc. ride. Honestly, it's like the Little Mermaid. If you love the movie, you really will love this ride. It was super cute. All the details. It's like the movie coming to life. I've never seen the movie, bitch, but my girlfriend, she was super happy. Um, okay, so listen, I would rate this a 10 out of 10. If you love Buzz, uh, Buzz Lightyear, bitch, Monsters, you'll love this. Okay, next. And we went on the Cars ride. And let me tell you something. These cars go fucking fast. You will love it. Now, a really good trick. The lines are always super huge in this one. So make sure to go on the single riders, you guys. Literally, the people that we sat with in the car were waiting two hours. And guess what? We waited like 10 minutes, no longer than 10 minutes. It's definitely worth going the single riders. So I give this honestly a 10 out of 10 as well. So this one might also be one of my favorites. It was the Guardians of the Galaxy like elevator thing that drops it. It was the Tower of Terror before. But let me tell you guys something. It is amazing. This is such a fun ride. The wait was a little bit long, but I do have a trick. Ask one of the really friendly staff members if that is the time you should be on and what time is it less busy. And usually they will help you. They definitely helped us. When we first got there, it was a two hour wait. When we got there at the time she told us, it was just an hour wait. So definitely recommend. Also, please take a look at this close-up. Girl, I will not be a cute astronaut because me and gravity, we don't mix. Look at this. This is when it takes you all the way up. It's like 100 floors up and it just fucking drops you. Yep, that was the picture. And girl, no, we did not buy the picture. We just took a picture with our phone. Okay, 10 out of 10. Then came this one. It's like a Ferris when you're like, oh my God, that's so cute. But look, bitch. 
they the 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 carts they move back and forth back and forth. Oh, as you can see Sonia is holding on to dear life because it is really scary the worst part is there's no seatbelt so you know, it goes rocking back and forth back and forth girl you're gonna have to pray to all the Disney gods because it is scary but it's a 10 out of 10 as well so i'm aware that i gave 10 out of 10 to all the rides and you know why because disney honestly is magical and every single ride is so special um and honestly if you just go in with like a really good attitude and just you're open to having fun at you're gonna find fun in every single thing you do in disney so make sure to check all the rides out don't leave one out and I hope you enjoyed this. And I'm super grateful for you. And um, if you go to Disney, let me know. Mwah.